guys, how's it going? Um, today I wanted to talk about the final episode of No Game No Life and as well as give you my series final thoughts and a full series overview of what I thought this season for No Game No Life. My No Game No Life review came up yesterday and I really have nothing more to say about No Game No Life other than the fact that it's really good. I don't have anything bad to say about it. I can't think of any little plot point that I didn't like other than the fact that it was only 12 episodes. I would have liked to go maybe to 24 so we can see Sora and Shiro actually battle other races. Really they only went through Emanity, um, the Flugel, and the War Beasts. So I would like to have seen them interact more with the world. However, because the Discord world does follow the game's style, if you haven't leveled up to a certain level, you can't fight certain bosses. So I kind of understand where that plot device is coming from. In terms of how episode 12 wrapped up, I really liked how they did like a half and half split for us. So we have a lot of like overarching questions that we've been really curious about, like say the chess pieces on the horizon, um, why there are 16 races, and like what are Tet's true intentions with bringing blank to this world. And Blank, Sora, and Shiro, they've mostly figured out why Tet has brought them here, even though like everyone else in this world hasn't figured it out. But I guess because they're from a different world, they can see things from Tet's perspective. Rather, for the inhabitants of the Discord world, they really see Tet as the one true god. And as like a lowly creature on Earth, you never really think about like challenging god or like overtaking god or like taking over the world. All the stuff that's told at the beginning with chaos, the different races fighting each other, and Tet kind of like setting them aside, putting down the rules. What you thought was really random and like randomly injected into that episode at that time actually comes full circle at episode 12. And I really love full circle plot ties because it will like literally tie the entire plot together and it gives the plot an overall coherence that makes you want to watch more. Despite what little of the exceed that we've seen in the No Game No Life world and the Discord world, I really think that this world is very well crafted. They brought the Light Novelist ideas fully forth really well. Um, when I was reading the Light Novels, it's actually harder to follow in the light novels, especially for the translations, just because you're getting thoughts and then sometimes you get like text across the screen or like random narration. So it jumps around a little bit between perspectives. However, when you're actually seeing it laid out for you, and especially because it's like a fantasy game style world, everything laid out in visuals is a lot more like powerful in terms of storytelling. It's just a lot clearer. With animation, not only are you getting dialogue, but you are getting like actual visuals of what the world is supposed to look like and what the game is supposed to look like. Naturally, I don't think anyone expected No Game No Life to be this colorful, um, even on the poster. The poster is like an understatement to how amazing the animation is. And you see throughout the show, the animation is very consistent with the story. At times, the animation brings out the complexities of the plot, like best seen in the episode where Sora is battling Kurami and they're playing Othello. I thought that was really well done. Um, it was confusing to some viewers, but I really think that um, it couldn't have been done any better than that. In fact, it was a little confusing in the light novel, but when you read the light novel and you watch the anime together all the really like complex and complicated parts and confusing parts kind of click together so I feel like um, if you go into the anime having read the light novel you will understand a lot more of the plot however the anime adaptation does cleverly capture and accurately capture a lot of the aspects of the light novel which I really like and in general I mean I think they picked a really good place to kind of cap it off at for the 12th episode season I'm really looking forward to seeing more of No Game No Life hopefully um, when we get to fall and second season will be done. I was worried that they wouldn't have time to do a proper wrap up ending because um, at the beginning of like episode 12 they're still uh, wrapping up the game with the war beast and what happens is like we don't get an opening sequence and we don't get an ending sequence we just get that thing where like credits fade in and out of the screen just because they're trying to maximize the runtime and the length of time that the anime is playing. Um, so that wraps up and pretty much the stuff with the war beast actually bleeds into the main plot. The game with the war beast is a part of the main plot but in terms of like the overarching war structure and all that stuff um, it wasn't as significant to like the Tet thing as much as we thought it was but then afterwards we do find out that um, Shrine Priestess is kind of like one of the old days so what I kind of deduce from the ending is that each of the race piece holders representatives of each race that can actually like hold the race piece and have like sovereign rights over their people I feel like they are the old day 
Dais or they have an Old Dais within them. I mean, the ones that can do magic anyways, right? That's kind of what I garnered from the Old Dais. Online, the No Game No Life Light Novel has kind of like caught off a bit just before the war so I really don't know what's happening there. Judging from what I saw and judging from what was presented, I really think that um, Soda and Shiro are probably gonna take on one of the Old Dais. Once one of the Old Dais entities are conquered, I think Soda and Shiro will have an easier time conquering the other races. I really enjoyed how um, the story just kind of builds onto itself. It never rushes too quickly. It never leaves anything out. And um, Steph was actually a pretty clever character to add in, especially on the light novels part. Just because Sora and Shiro are so brilliant and they can practically read each other's minds, the audience needs a way to kind of like get into the story and the information. And so Steph kind of does her part by asking stupid questions. Like they seem stupid to Steph because she's part of this world and she should know about it. But Steph actually serves as like um, a knowledge medium between Sora and Shiro and the audience so that um, we can kind of get some of their thoughts and they don't have to worry about like Steph betraying them or whatever because Steph is a Steph and Steph doesn't do much. I really like how Sora and Shiro's backstory was just kind of like injected in little parts or little scenes, little flashbacks. It wasn't heavy at all, like stuff in No Game No Life rarely is heavy until it gets to like action packed moments. But when you watch Sora and Shiro, you never forget that the Discord world is a world of games and you're meant to have fun with games and you're meant to like enjoy yourself. I think Sora and Shiro embody the best of like really lighthearted gamers that are in for the fun and really hardcore gamers that are in for the strategy um, and the win. Overall, I really, really enjoy the No Game No Life series. I feel like I'll be pestering people to show them No Game No Life. Um, I feel like I'm just gonna go and rewatch it when I have time. If they come out with a Sora or Shiro Nendoroid figure, I'll probably go and get one because they're such awesome characters. If you guys are interested in figure collecting, the Shiro uh, 1 8 size figure, I believe is that, the sculpted model one, it's a little bit pricey, but it's really gorgeous. It's absolutely amazing and they really captured Shido's personality really well within the figure. So if you guys are into figure collecting and you have some money saved up, definitely look into the Shido figure. Overall, almost five out of five happy clouds for me with a final series, a full series review. And that doesn't happen often. Like, I almost gave every single episode a full rating. Usually when I rate episodes, um, I rate them within the genre themselves, so I don't compare them to like other shows. I rate them within um, the shows that you can compare to, like, if it's a magical anime, I won't compare it to something in Shonen Action. I'll compare it back to other magical animes. And at the same time with No Game No Life, I've been comparing it to like other um, gamer style anime, MMORPG kind of setups, just like some comedy. And yeah, No Game No Life takes the regular video game world setup and it kind of gives its own spin on it. And I like how they're using simple games rather than just throwing us more video game stuff, more MMORPG stuff. And I feel like that's a bit overdone. But No Game No Life has really kind of raised the standard for like game themed anime and that's really great of the anime writers that's really great in the anime world and yeah um you know i really enjoy no game no life how about you guys i barely had anything bad to say about it i don't think that makes for much review but i will be looking into my shiro cosplay because i really want to cosplay as shiro i think she's a really great character oh also if you guys are looking for full translation lyrics of the opening song this game um i have them up on my blog i will leave a link below um, my friend Haley worked really hard and long on the this game translation because she really liked the song and she thinks it really fits well. So um, we have the translation up. So if you guys want to check that out, sing along, karaoke out. That's cool. Um, yes, check out the link below. So yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. If you guys did, don't forget to hit like or subscribe. Comment below if you think No Game No Life is awesome. If you think it's like the best series of the spring anime season. You liked it, you hated it. Um, any characters that particularly jumped out at you. And I look forward to reading your comments. So I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye!